From the Heart, August 10, A Model for the Young And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom. The Jewish people had wrong ideas about the Messiah and his work. They were looking for the glory that will be seen when Christ comes the second time, and did not study the Bible so that they could know that he was to come the first time in a very lowly way. But Jesus asked questions about the scriptures that pointed to his first appearing, that flashed light into the minds of those who were willing to receive the truth. Before he had come to the earth, he had given these prophecies to his servants who had written them down, and now, as he studied the Bible, the Holy Spirit brought these things to his mind and showed him the great work that he was to do in the earth. As he grew in knowledge, he imparted knowledge to others. But though he was wiser than the learned men, he did not become proud or feel that he was above doing the most humble toil. He took his share of the burden with his father, mother, and brethren, and toiled to help support the family. Though the doctors had been amazed at his wisdom, he obeyed his parents and worked with his own hands as any toiler would work. It is stated of Jesus that as he grew older, he increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. The understanding that he obtained from day to day, that showed him how wonderful should be his mission in the world, did not lead him to neglect the humblest duties. He cheerfully took up the work that children and youth who dwell in humble households are called upon to do, for he knew what it was to be pressed by poverty. He understands the temptations of children, for he bore their sorrows and trials. Firm and steadfast was his purpose to do the right. Though others tried to lead him to do evil, he yet never did wrong and would not turn away in the least from the path of truth and right. He always obeyed his parents and did every duty that lay in his path. But his childhood and youth were anything but smooth and joyous. His spotless life aroused the envy and jealousy of his brethren, for they did not believe on him. They were annoyed because he did not act in all things as they did and would not become one with them in doing evil. In his home life, he was cheerful but never boisterous. He ever seemed like one who was seeking to learn. He took great delight in nature, and God was his teacher.